Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to give you the salesman's kryptonite. All right, you know how Superman had kryptonite, right? This is gonna be a salesman's biggest problem. By the way, if you wanna crush it, if you wanna be a high achiever, if you wanna be a one percenter, you wanna watch this entire video. All right guys, how you doing? It's Andy, check this out. Salesperson's kryptonite, what is it? Think about this guys, I want you to write this down. A salesperson's biggest problem, what would it be? Well, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna underline a few, and then I'm gonna tell you the biggest one that crushes most of them. Number one, let's start here. I want you to watch as I write this. Right there, guys. Underestimating. You underestimate the amount of action that you have to take to become a high achiever. This is probably one of the biggest things that I see that a lot of management teams don't teach their employees. So the, one of the first things that I did when I was a GM, I took my sales store from 150 a month to selling 600 cars a month. You know how I did it? I did it by saying, hey guys, all right, all right, you guys are all making 70,000 a year, okay? And that's not what you wanna make. But what's typical is salespeople say, hey, you know what? I wanna make 100, or I wanna make 150, okay? And you know what I'd say? Why? Why is your target there? Let's do this. Let's put your target here at 350, and they would say, woo, I never thought about making it that big. And I would say, you can absolutely make it that big. You see, I'm gonna take the big thinking that I have, and I'm gonna push it into you. And when I push it into you, what's gonna happen? You're gonna aim now for a new target of 350. Now watch what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna let you underestimate the amount of action that you have to take to get to 350. You see, because normal salespeople can make 70 grand taking fresh ups and doing nothing. But guess what? This 70, when you go to 100, if you fall short, what do you hit? 85,000? Man, what happens if you aim for 350 and you fall short? What do you hit? 220? Listen to me. Set your targets high. But with setting your targets high, it comes with massive action. And I think underestimating the amount of work, energy, and effort that it takes in this business to hit big targets could be a salesperson's biggest problem. You know why? Because there's so many people that have been around the dealership for 10 or 15 years, and all they do is take fresh ups, they live off their customer base, and guess what happens? A new guy comes in, and he says, hey man, I've been selling cars for two years, I'm here, and you know what the managers say? Yeah, go take ups. And they tell him to go do what the guy that's been, been there for 15 years with the customer base is doing, who's still only making this kind of money, you underestimate it. Look, I'm not a big Grant Cardone fan in the automotive end. I do like his motivation, but I want to tell you this. He put out a book in 2012, I believe it's called the, 2010, it's called the 10X Rule, right? And when he talked about it, 10X means to do what? Not underestimate the amount of action that it takes to hit a target. It's called the 10X Rule. Underestimating is something that we see in salespeople every single day. That could be one of the biggest problems that salespeople have is underestimating the amount of effort, energy, passion to dominate their sector. Okay? Now watch. Let's go on to number two. Guys, I'm about to get right back to the video. I want to tell you, number one, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video if you like what you're watching right now. Click the button, give me a thumbs up on it, comment below, anything you need, I got you. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, set your notification bell so every single day when I put out brand new cutting edge training videos, you can get them. Ooh. And I'm even scared to write this one down because I might hurt somebody's feelings, okay? The quitting mind. I want you to think about this. How many times do we see this happen with car salesmen all around? Men, women, they have the quitting mind. You know what happens? When it gets hard, you want to quit. When it gets hard, you want to quit. 
You want to complain? Listen, guys, nothing good comes from a comfortable environment, all right? Okay, this mommy little cookie jar over here where everything's nice and easy, okay? This right here pays like crap, okay? When you work hard, when you put the grit in, when you train hard every single day, listen, I'm going to tell you this, all right? Let me tell you the day that my life changed completely, all right? I was sitting there training, and I was training for about an hour a day. And I remember I was on my last sheet of paper writing up my, negoti my negotiating scenario, okay? And I literally looked up at the clock and I realized that I didn't want to train for another freaking minute and I was sick of it. And you know what I realized? I got the damn quitting mind. My mind is tired. But we don't quit when we're tired. We quit when we're done. So you know what I did? I said, today will be the day that my life changes, and I'm going to train for another hour. And for the next 10 days, so I can discipline myself and learn to love to do the stuff that sucks, I train for two hours a day. What's funny is by the end of the 10th day, I was madly in love and passionate with training again, even though I had doubled my training because I had done more of it. You see, my body will adapt and overcome what I push it to. But if any time something gets hard, I let my body have a way out, a, you want, me, you want me to write it down? Read it with me. You already know what it's going to say. I want you to see that. A get out of jail free card. No ways. We're not doing it. I don't want the easy road, and you guys, I want you to understand this. Your family deserves it. You deserve it. Put the grit in. Put the grind in. Whatever you don't like, do twice as much of it. Whatever you don't like, do it twice as much. Your life will change. All right, let's follow up with the very last one. All right, this is going to be number three. So number one, we're talking about underestimating. That's one of the salesperson's biggest problems. Number two, we got the quitting mind. Okay? Salespeople back out. They back out. They quit. Right? It's no fun no more. Guess what? When it's no fun is when you do more of it. And then lastly, number three, what's the question, the number one question that I get asked all the time? And this, this could be the biggest problem that salespeople have. They say, Andy, how do I make more money? How do I make more money? When I go to work, I trade my time for money. How do I make more money? Guess what I say? I say, do you really want to know? Like, like, are you for real? Right? Or are you just asking me? Okay? Because let me explain something to you. Or to you. I apologize. If you really want to know, go to YouTube and watch my 500 videos. And you know what? I tell you exactly how to do it. Okay? I tell you exactly. Every time. But you know what I see? I see this. When you ask and I tell you, you know what you do? You won't change. So let me ask you a question. Now that you see... What is a salesman's biggest problem? Number one, is this you? Are you underestimating the amount of action that it takes in setting low, low, low targets? Listen, if you say, no, Andy, I'm setting big targets, are you still underestimating the amount of action that it takes? Yes or no? This is for you. Number two, the quitting mind. Do you quit when it sucks? Let me ask you this. Did you make a commitment to yourself to say, hey, man, I'm going to start training harder than ever? Guess what? If you did and you haven't been training, yeah, don't watch two of my YouTube videos. Guess what? Go watch 20. I got it. Yeah, you're going to stay up until 2.30 in the morning. I know that sucks. You know where I was last night at 2.30? Training. After 23 years, still passionate, still driven, not going to give up. That's our team. That's our tribe. That is us. That's the next generation. That's the next top salesperson in the country. And you deserve it and your family deserves it, but you have to pay the price in advance. And then lastly, answer the question. Okay? 
Do you really want it? And if you want it, you got to be willing to change. You got to be willing to go to the suck zone. Okay? You know what that means? To do the stuff you don't love so you can become great at it. So that when you're in front of customers, you know what it takes to get in front of somebody in a seminar and role play for a minute? You know, it takes some courage. But when it's over, if you don't continue to practice it, when you go back and you're with the customer and it's live fire, you can't pull from your, from your skill set and you can't use it because you never put in the work to memorize it. Repetition is the mother of skill. Guys, these are the salesperson's biggest problems after this video. I pray that you don't have these no more. I promise if you'll listen to me, I will show you how to make $700,000 a year selling cars. I'll show you how to make a million. You can do it. I believe in you, but you've got to get ready to change. Guys, rock and roll. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching the full video. I started when I was 18 training just like you. No matter where you're at in life, I want to tell you this. Being committed is all that it takes. I put out free training content on YouTube every single day to make sure that I can take you to the next level of life. I have over 500 free videos. Please make sure that you like the video. Shoot me a comment below and shoot me a text message. I'd love to get to know you, okay? If I haven't met you yet, 918-210-0254. Take a second, guys. Shoot me a text message. You're important to me. I have your back for life. We're going to go all the way to the top together. I appreciate you. you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and set your alerts for the daily training video. Thank you.